This time of the year, every year, artists and fans of art from around the world get excited over the Gwangju Biennale. The world-renowned exhibit opened its doors to the public last week, and our Im Yun Hee joins me with a look at what this year's event has to offer. Good afternoon, Yun Hee. Good afternoon. Right, so the 10th Gwangju Biennale has finally opened. It's upon us. People are very excited. Uh, one of the biggest art gatherings here in Asia. And so the 10th one has finally opened, and this year's theme is burning down the house. And as you'll see, some of the artists are on fire with ideas. Take a look. It's a rather odd scene. A jumble of horses, soldiers and flags. American artist Edward Keenholz was a foundational installation artist and this is one of his rare works created with his wife Nancy. It's just one of the many meaningful and unique pieces to this year's Gwangju Biennale. Even though these works address political talk, spiritual talk and social talk, they also satirize politics. The 10th edition of one of Korea's largest art gatherings has brought in some of the most abstract creations from all over the world, including Pakistani artist Huma Mulji's work that addresses the modern-day concerns of Pakistan. They all fall under the theme of burning down the house, which incorporates the idea of burning and transformation, and the process of finding hope amidst the ashes. And this year, artists utilize a range of different mediums and techniques to display this process of destruction and rebuilding. I was looking for a way to somehow unify the exhibition, and they proposed this wallpaper which has a pixelated smoke motif that was an image that they downloaded from the internet. And though the artworks are united under a theme, each displays a flair of creativity and the extraordinary, as the Gwangju Biennale will remain open until next month for people from all over the country and the world to see what this year's artists have in store.